during the second lockdown, we did some work remotely on um, things like sustainability and um, kind of science topics to do with the environment. Um, last year, when the children were in year five, they did a big topic on the Amazon rainforest. So they're quite environmentally aware. Um, and children today are quite environmentally aware. They know they know loads about the big issues to do with global warming and uh, um, the Amazon rainforest. I wanted to do something that was kind of connected to that, but also something that they could get a bit of hands on experience of. Um, so I found out about this charity called Rewilding Britain. Um, they are a charity who attempt to look at areas in our country and try to um, to create more natural environments for habitats, for creatures and plants. Um, basically, they're kind of left to their own devices and the, and the, uh, the environment sort of takes over and nature does its thing. Um, we have fantastic school grounds at our school, um, but they are not particularly biodiverse. Um, there's a lot of grass, there's a few trees. Um, we try to, we're trying to create uh, an area of the school field that is basically full of naturally occurring UK plants that's going to encourage wildlife to come. It's going to be a site where other children can come to do some education work. Um, it's going to help the environment in a small way. It's going to give the children that hands-on experience as to why it's so important. Um, it's all about sustainability and we're using recycled materials to make it and uh, it's a lot about mental health as well, getting the children back with their friends outside, digging in the sunshine, chatting with their friends and um, just kind of getting back to uh, those so social situations as well. So yeah. loads of reasons, really. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to point out as an aside that someone exciting must have just been walking past the door a couple of minutes ago because everybody started waving like this. But um, it was quite funny to see. Um, oh, it's Anna. <laughs> um, you, you said earlier that that. Um, you know, children generally are are more aware of environmental issues uh, than than perhaps most adults are, um, and that's quite an encouraging thing, isn't it? When we look at the state of of climate change and and all the associated problems with that at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've said on a number of occasions, it's almost getting to be my little tagline, which is, uh, this generation of children, they are going to be the ones who make a difference, or they're going to be the ones that really feel the consequences of of not making a change, not doing anything. Uh, the most dangerous thing we can do is inaction, really. Right. So then how does this... Uh, oh, there's someone collecting rubbish. You see, that's environmental, isn't it? It's, it's all... Yeah. It's, yeah. We've staged this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's our big recycling man. <laughs> so David Attenborough, he's got yes. involved with the school. Tell us what happened there. Um, so, I mean, I've tried to make the project uh, as cross-curricular as I possibly can. So we're bringing in lots of science, uh, lots of design and technology, lots of art and lots of English, lots of literacy. So the first thing we did when we got back is we tried to work out some ways that we could uh, raise awareness of our project, um, drum up uh, a bit of support for purchasing plants and resources. So we got the children writing letters to lots of different audiences. And we looked at how those letters might sound and how you write a letter to somebody that you don't know very well. They're great at sort of texting each other and things like that with their friends. But how do you write to somebody in that in that style, in that tone yes. when you don't know them very well? So um, Amy, who is here this morning, give us a wave, Amy. Yeah, there's Amy. So Amy and somebody else in the class wrote to David Attenborough, not asking him for anything particularly, just basically to say, this is what we're doing. Um, you know, we know that you're interested in stuff like that. We know that you're a, a big environmentalist. Um, and uh, we just like you to make, you know, be aware of what we're doing, really. And uh, we were, you know, we were delighted and, and really quite surprised when not only did we get, um, you know, uh, a letter back from him, it was a, a sort of a handwritten, quite, you know, personalised letter, which was lovely. Uh, and what did he say in the letter? What did he say? I'll read the letter to you, if you like. OK. OK. I mean, it's not the longest letter in the world, but it is a, it is a handwritten. There we go. It's That's a handwritten, uh, handwritten letter. Um, it says hold that up again a little bit closer. Up a bit, up a bit. That's that's very nice. Yes. OK. Uh, just read it out loud, if you would. He's got the handwriting of a doctor. Um, yeah. 
It says, uh, dear Ollie and Amy, uh, thank you for your letters. I hope your nature garden grows well and attracts lots of wild creatures. Best wishes, David Attenborough. And how did you and how did uh, the students feel when they received that? Um, I think we were pretty excited, actually. Um, we, uh, we've had a few letters back from sort of local garden centres and local DIY stores um pledging sort of support and money and uh plants and things like that but to actually get something back from you know i mean he's the main man isn't he he is he is the head man and to actually get something that was quite personal as well it wasn't sent from his management company it was him sort of personally connecting with us and uh when we first came back after lockdown we watched a couple of videos of him talking about the state of the planet and how we can make a difference how we can change and actually to get something back from him was was amazing right well on behalf of greatest hits radio uh, i'd just like to congratulate you and your pupils uh, on on this work and and also in terms of the recognition that you've got from like you say the leading man yes yeah thank you very much thank you